today I am going ahead to remaining numericals in the exercise 6.3, question number 24. Find the equation of normal and tangents of the given hyperbola x square by x square minus y square by x square equal to 1 at the point x0 y0. Yes, students, before starting this sum, you take mark. This is a very very most IMP numerical. It's the most IMP sum. And equation is given for hyperbola. And you know that that's the particular drawing here to bioelectric that are the curve of hyperbola. And consider that is your tangent here. And that's the perpendicular tangent. It's called normal. Yes, students, it is your tangent. And here, normal. And point is given that x0, y0. So, first of all, I start derivative. I just apply px0, y0 on the curve. So, here, p point x0, y0 is belong to the curve. It means x square by x square, y square by x square, apply in place x and y, x0, same y0, and statement more. Because this statement more than one, I utilize in the further solutions. Now I start first of all derivative. So, differentiation with respect to x squared, so d dx, x square by x square, d dx, y square by x square, and here derivative is constant, so I easily derive one of the slope of, yes, slope of tension. So here derivative is 2x by upon k square, 2y upon k square, but in dy by dx, and is equal to so students here you just define one of the slope of tangent. So here 2x by x square, that one is equal to 2y by d square divided by dx. Which means this 2 and this 2 cancel. Only I have divided by dx is what? d square x by k square y. And therefore slope of tangent. Yes, x, x0, y0. So, x0, y0, you use slope of tangent derivation over dy by dx. And just try to take my point, x0. In place of x, we subtract here. Y0, y0. So, is equal to students, b square, x0 upon a square of y0. And that is slope indicate and one. Because m to taking slope of normal. So same as we can derive slope of normal. M2, which is perpendicular to slope of tangent. Minus slope by m1. Because both are perpendicular, m1 and is equal to minus 1. So is equal to minus a square by 0 by a square x0. Now students, I start my first sum. To first part equation of tangent, having slope this and passing to x0 by x0. For the template, you definitely utilize this equation of moment. Therefore, I derive first this. So, equation of tangent y minus y1 and x minus x1. Here, and here apply y1 is y0. Slope of tangent m1 is what? b square x0 upon a square y0 and x1 is x0. Now students, very easy. You just make the cross multiply. So these are multiply here. These here multiply. So y a square y0 minus a square y0 square. Very carefully write that. It's not easy. Same x x0 b square minus b square x0 square. Now, 
we divide upper this side left side and right side a square b square then we can get this so here students i just divided a square b square to left side and right side so you just create equation of one and that value is apply in this parts so here students i just divide by by a square by zero minus a square by zero square is equal to x at zero b square minus b square at zero square each term divided because i want this equation when we put in a square b square divided by right side of zero so what you get this cancel here this cancel here that cancel and here also that cancel we have to y minus y zero by b square here y zero by b square is equal to x at zero by a square minus x zero square by a square check this part and this part if you taking right to left these two are in your equation of one so these are arranged and that one i put in the right side so x zero square by a square minus y zero square by b square and here same is so that is you know how many where is one so your first part is the near y minus y zero by b square from one it means equation of tangent students here easily we have to done Utilize after your equation number one. Huh? So, equation of tangent that x is zero by x square minus y by zero by x square and is equal to one. Here, students, your half will be written. Now, another half. I start utilize normal slopes and passing through. So now I start equation of normal slope norm m two passing through x zero y zero so y minus y is y one is equal to m two slope x minus x one here y zero what is the slope of normal minus a square y zero by b square x zero And this solution also not easy, students. Uh, I just multiply both of the cross first of all. So you get in here y b square x zero minus y zero x zero b square and right side minus a square x y zero multiply it minus a square x with y zero plus a square y zero x zero a square x zero y zero. Now here, students, we can start first of all dividing a square by square, and then after we also divide it then x zero by zero. Then we get our final answer. So here I just take out the dividing parts. Y by square by x zero minus x zero by zero by square is equal to. Minus a square x y zero plus a square y zero. Yes, students. This I take divided to a square b square each term. So what is the result? This b square one y zero by x square. Here b square one x zero y zero by x square. Same. Here also, students, you can get a square here cutting, and here also a square cutting. Only you have to x y zero by b square plus y zero x zero by b square. Now you can arrange the like term here and take out the common. So here, students, your common taking these two parts x zero. 
zero moment and LCM taking a spell so y minus y is equal to zero is equal but you take to right to left either left to right is equal to zero so students here write zero by a square y minus y is equal and now we have common check again to here y zero by b square we have to x minus x zero this answer true no doubt but the next side answer one more step here I divided x zero by zero so dividing x zero by zero not equal to zero so students here x zero by just you can divide here x zero by zero same as that part also I put in down there b square x zero by zero so this cancel here this cancel and that answer is given in your textbook answer last answer equation of normal yes students that is the finish here y minus y zero by x square by zero plus x minus x zero by b square x zero is equal to zero and that's your equation of students tangent of that and that is your equation of normal this is the most i have been very so many times asking in final exams now i am going to next one now students continue question number 25 find the equation of tangent to the curve which is parallel to the given line it means if you take in a square no doubt it is your parabolic curve so this is your parabolic curve equation is given 1 is equal to 3x minus 2 and here consider one of the tangent at the particular point point is a number when we derive that it is a tangent but this tangent is a parallel to given line so that this given line 4x minus 2y plus 5 is equal to 0 so first of all I just taking slope of this line and slope of this tangent both are equal because they are parallel so given line and I just derived that slope slope you take minus a by b either divide by dx I take it directly it's best to be because the derivative chapter only you easily understood what is the slope of line yes it is 2 and that too here slope 2 parallel this also slope 2 now I start directing to given curve yes student my curve is under 3x minus 2 take directly cause definitely you can derive it is slope of tangent yes so here slope of tangent very easily you can start divided by dx root derivative 1 by 2 times and into derivative into 3 x1 and 2 derivative 0 but this slope of tangent is parallel to given line that's why I'm taking 2 so here apply 2 and that is same 3x minus 2 now take a square on both sides root is easy so here 4 9 4 here 3x minus 2 now cost multiply the trading operation multiply so 4 for the 16 3x minus 2 is equal to 9 so 16 3 the 48 32 9 so x become 41 by 48 32 plus 9 42 by 48 x will be like it is this will be ready 41 by 48 I remember this will be put down in y and you easily create value of y so students your y value is also I easily derive so my y is value under root 3x minus 2 is that 3 into 41 by 48 so, what do you get? 16 3 is 48. So, 41 minus 16 to the 32 
by 16. How much? 9. So you're getting only here 3 by 4. And that point is ready for tangent point. Now students, it's very easy to derive slope to pass entropy. Both apply in equation of tangent. You can get easily our last answer. So your tangent point is ready. P point is your 51 by 48 comma 3 by 4. It means students, it is a passing through point, sir. And slope of tangent is 2. So, equation of tangent y minus y1 and x minus x1. And simple apply your equation. So, y1 I have 3 by 4. Slope 2 and x1 41 by 48. Just you multiply inside and rearrange the terms. So, my final rearrangement after taking LCM. I get the final answer. So, here 4y minus 3. These are 4 multiplied. Nice. And is equal to 2 same as that is 48 minus 41 by 48. 48 one the minus 41. This cancel students 2 into 44. Yes. 4 is the exact answer. So, 6 into 4y minus 3. 48 minus Final getting 64, 64 is a 24 y, 60 is a 80 and 48 x minus 24. So students your answer is a 48 x minus 24 y plus 80 minus 24. So just to rearrange. So 18 minus 41, yes it is 43. So your answer 48 x minus 24 y is equal to 23. And that's your answer. One more time check, 8 3 11 1, 40, yes 23. That is what equation of tangent, which is parallel to given line. Your answer students here easily and happily than me. Now students, question number 26. Find the slope of normal in the given term at the position of x equal to 0. And further all four options here. Students, it's very easy. Slope of normal. It means I derive First of all, slope of tangent, which is perpendicular to normal. So, directly on the differentiation with respect to x, you divide by dx, and this curve also you operate on the ddx. 2x squared plus 3 sin x. So, students, here slope of tangent. Yes. First derivative must be a slope of tangent and that is what 2 to the 4x plus 3 and sign derivative plus x. And here students have known at the place what x is equal to 0. So n x is equal to 0. So it is here 4x 0, 3, cos 0, cos 0 is known 1. That is your slope of tangent which is m1 yes now I want to normal therefore slope of normal which is m2 minus 1 by 1 minus 1 by 1 and that's your answer to this option D very easy over here now so let's continue after 26 exams illustration I am going to next one, same as one more MCQ, question number 27. Find the line have by asking y is equal to x plus 1 is a tangent to be curve. It means one of the parabolic curve given students and tangent to you. Definitely point is easily derived because both slope of tangent at the same. So students here, your tangent and your curve. I just operate both of the derivative and the tangent given that y is equal to x plus 1. So let's just only apply dy derivatives and show that both are part is a slope of tangent. Are same. So differentiation 
with respect to x to y divided by x four one. So what is the divided by x two by y four cutting by two. And here students, if you operate them, divided by x one plus zero. So here tangent slope is one. That slope and this slope both I think equal because already told here this line is a tangent to given curve. It means that both slopes are same. Now students, just to compare it, you can get easily one by two. So finally, we see two by y is equal to one. So y is equal to two. Now I just this y will put it on curve either line up, but always put it on the curve. Now curve, how given that y square is equal to four x. So four is equal to four x. X is equal to one. Y is equal to two. These are our tangent points. Therefore, the required tangent point one comma two. And here, students, your this questions for twenty seventh exercise six point three students here done. Now let's start related last questions. Now students, after ending your six point three exercise, I go to illustration related question number forty. Find the slope of the tangent to curve at x is equal to two. Its value is yes. Differentiation with respect to x, you can derive divide by x your slope of tangent. Very easy. Here three x square. And x is given, but at the point e one is equal to what two, and that is your slope of tangent. Apply only two, so three into two square minus one, four three is a square minus one. That's your given our slope of tangent at the place of x is equal to two. Very easy then. Now let us continue example fifteen. Find the point which of the tangent of this curve has its slopes given two by three. Miss students, here slope of tangent is given. Means we derive from the divided by x. Yes, this curve I operate on the divided by x. Yes. So differentiation with respect to x. So divided by x. That's your d d x of your root part. And one derivative is a And that is your slope of tangent. Ready? Divide by x. Very simple, students. You apply that here values for root derivative. One by two times root derivative. In general, four x one three zero. So already known slope of tangent is two third. So students, that value is a third, and right side will be same, four by two under root. For example, this equation of tangent two third, and here apply four by two under root. For example, students, this cancel two two zero. This cancel. We have to only under root. For x minus three is root three. Making square on both sides. So we have four x minus three square. We will cancel. We are nine. So it is twelve. X is equal to three. Now, what is target? Find the point. This is my target. So put down in the line. So what is your line? Under root four x minus three and two minus one. Put down systematically. Value of x is equal to so four into three minus three. Twelve minus three. Yes, students. It is nine square root. You put in here nine square root only is here because already given particular slopes and that value. So here you are three minus one two. So required my tangent point is ready that three comma two. C 
See very easy solutions, no? Tangent slopes given and curve given and here students, my numerical is right. Now students, example 16 is also in marking the eight This is a board question. Find the equation of all lines having slope 2 and being the tangent to the curve. It is slope already given tangent and I derive possible tangents equations. First of all, students, I hear y separate minus 2 by. So it is a 3 minus x and start first directly respect to this. So students, you get the equation of tangent. Yes, differentiation with respect to x. So divide by dx. That also d dx of our data. So in denominator square, now denominator numerator directly zero minus numerator denominator directly zero minus one. So it is zero plus two by 3 minus x whole square but it is indicate what? it is slope of tangent yes it is slope of tangent which is 2 now this to and this to cancel only I have 3 minus x the whole square is equal to 1 so 3 minus x is equal to plus or minus 1 and here students there are two criteria that I have 1 of the plus so, 3 minus x is equal to 1, otherwise 3 minus x is equal to minus 1. And here you make it, there are two conditions. One of the here, 3 minus 1 is equal to x. Yes, x is equal to 2. Same thinking, here also. 3 plus 1 is equal to x, x is equal to 4. Now, this both x values respectively, you put down in this one. So students here y value I have to 2 upon 3 minus x. It is 3 minus 2. It is 2 by 1. It is 2. Same as here also. Another parts 2 by 3 minus x. 2 by 3 minus 4, which is minus 1 here. So minus 2. Now I get it. Final value. That is here. I want to slope two equations. And passing to that. So, here is the tangent point 2, comma 2, and I derive equation of tangent having slope 2, passing through to 2. So, students, equation of tangent y minus y1 and x minus x1. y1 is 2, slope 2. You get in 2x minus 4. So 2x minus y minus 4 plus 2. It's happily done. This equation is 2x minus y minus 2 is equal to 0. Same student here. Tangent point in another case also that is true. x is 4, y is minus 2. So it is 4 comma minus 2. And same apply here like equation of tangent y minus y1. Well, and x minus x whole slope is 2 passing through loan 4 comma minus 2. So students here minus 1 is equal to plus 2, slope is 2 and x1 is 4. So y plus 2 is equal to 2x minus 8. So 2x minus y minus 8 minus 2. You are getting final answer. Equation of tangent here. 2x minus y minus 10. And students these are possible two equations. One either two. Yes, students, it's very easy to read them, but INP exam reading. Yes, students, here up to example 16. This part I learned here. Further explanations for this related, our example 17 continue. I explain you in the next part. Okay? Bye bye. See you.